Tensions in Eastern Europe are at boiling point, with Vladimir Putin amassing around 100,000 troops close to the Ukrainian border. Russia faces massive consequences, if it invades Ukraine, British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has said at a meeting of top diplomats, from the G7 group of leading industrialized nations. There was a very much a united voice from the G7 nations, who represent 50% of global GDP being very clear, that there will be massive consequences for Russia in the case of an incursion into Ukraine, Truss said on Sunday at the meeting, in the northern English city, Liverpool. Ukraine is at the center of a crisis in east-west relations, as it accuses Russia of massing tens of thousands of troops, in preparation for a possible large-scale military offensive, U.S. intelligence assesses, that Russia could be planning a multi-front offensive on Ukraine as early as next year, involving up to 175,000 troops. The Kremlin denies it plans to invade, and says the West is gripped by Russophobia, Moscow says the expansion of NATO threatens Russia and has contravened assurances given to it as the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991. London was considering all options on how to respond, if Russia invades Ukraine, Truss said, highlighting, that the UK has used economic sanctions in the past to send diplomatic messages to Moscow, when the UK has wanted to send clear messages, and achieve clear goals, we have been prepared to use economic sanctions, Truss told reporters, we are considering all options. A joint statement was expected later. In a draft statement seen by the Reuters news agency, the G7 delegates said, they were united in their condemnation of Russia's military buildup near Ukraine, and called on Moscow to de-escalate. Russia should be in no doubt, that further military aggression against Ukraine would have massive consequences, and severe cost, the statement said, we reaffirm our unwavering commitment to Ukraine's sovereignty, and territorial integrity, as well as the right of any sovereign state to determine its own future, she said. Stay tuned for the latest news.